Lincoln wanted to see how high the drone would go and if our property would fit into the shot. It kind of did, give or take a couple of acres. This past week, our long grass was cut and turned into hay. The farmer takes most of it, but our donkeys will have an endless supply. This is our tractor. I think it's time for an upgrade. We've been really busy. Mm -hmm. Our to-do list is just... Keeps getting longer. Keeps getting longer <laughs> because we're working outside and we're working inside. Mm -hmm. You have the hedge. Do you have a technique? <laughs> what I'm working on is this is the tallest part of the hedge. And you get down to a certain point, there's no more no more leaves, it's just branches. So I can't go past that. So that's gonna kind of set the level going across. When is the last time we have uh, cut we, this hedge? We did it last summer. It's been a year. I think we did it early last summer. Now in the presence of a... Well, this time of year, we're just, we're so stretched. Well, yeah, it's just because there's a lot to do outside yeah. on top of the usual stuff. We mm -hmm. have inside stuff to finish up. So we're kind of being pulled apart in multiple directions. So it's kind of hard to get any one thing done, but I have to get that salon done. The radiators need to be removed so I can begin the immensely enjoyable task of radiator painting. This is our first time removing radiators, so we had a bit of help from a friend. Here Lincoln props up the radiator to drain the excess crud that has settled to the bottom. The entire system has been drained. Yeah. 
We've successfully removed these radiators away from the wall, so then I can prep both behind the wall and, and these, these radiators. I think what we're going to do is spray them, since hand painting them would take a long time. They do make special brushes to go in between the crevices. What is this called? The things, that's the technical term. They make brushes to go in between the radiator things, um, which is sort of a curved brush. <laughs> that's not the correct terminology. The radiator, I don't know, it looks like an accordion. Um, the radiator crevices, the radiator gaps. I don't really feel like spending several hours painting a radiator, so we're going to spray them. So I just need to prep them. Then we can get them hooked back up and, and finish the room. I just, I kind of wanted to do this to get this out of the way. While Lincoln went out to pick up a new sander, I began the process of sanding the cracks in the plaster I had filled the day before. This I seem to enjoy more than painting a radiator. I'm not sure why. We won't bore you with non-stop sanding content, but it's ready to be painted now. She's in here, it's thundering. Whoa. Guava does not like the, the no, rain. No, 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 no. No. Now that it's raining, I'm worried we're going to lose trees. <laughs> well, we're getting our rain. And some thunder. And Guava is in here with me because she's frightened. Yeah, she's shaking. She hates the thunder and lightning, you poor thing. And don't get me started with fireworks. Those are just the worst thing. Animals get so freaked out. I can get this area sorted out, painted, along with the radiator. The reason I'm doing these radiators first is because I need to get these back hooked up to our heating system because we are in the process of replacing the pump for the boiler downstairs and we've drained the entire system. So before we can add a new inhibitor and test the system, we need to get these back in order. We're trying to get a few steps ahead of winter this, this season. Hopefully it's, it's working better with the new pump. It's just always something to do. And then hopefully, I keep talking about it, I know, I'm just so excited, uh, solar panels. That's our next preparing for winter project. And I know it's not even officially summer yet, but uh, we kind of have to think ahead so we can stay a little warmer this, this winter.
which is important for us. So we've gone ahead and purchased a spray gun, <clears throat> paint spray gun. We, we didn't have one. I think we had one, but it was really crappy. I'm going to be spending probably the next uh, several hours figuring out how to, how to use this thing properly so, it, so I can get these radiators painted and hopefully maybe use this for um, other parts of this room. Hopefully the next video, these will be completely painted and installed. So stay tuned for that exciting <laughs> bit. Plus we have people coming. We have yeah. several influxes <laughs> of different groups of people. So I'm trying to get stuff done inside because we have our first guest arriving in a couple days and I have to go to Paris to pick her up. That's my mom. But she's not really a guest because we put her to work. <laughs> <laughs> she offers to do the work, by the way. It's not that we say you have to come and, but the she stipulation likes, is- She likes to keep busy. She really likes to keep busy. So she's a big help in the garden. So she's our first guest, but I'm really sad about having to go to Paris without you or the kids and have one <laughs> night alone. <laughs> New garden boots. What's not to love about Paris? It's fun. Although I won't be shopping at Chanel, I do love looking at interesting fashion. Carved and gilded 18th century chandeliers I cannot afford. And of course, the views. With guests coming, I always like to have fresh flowers in most of the rooms. This time of year though, the dahlias, cosmos, and other flowers aren't ready. So it's time to celebrate the hortensia, aka hydrangea. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.